Well, new piece of equipment for the shop. It's uh, <laughs> a little hobby lathe. I mean, it's set up to do threads and everything. Thought it was pretty cool. Price was right. Had to get it. Unboxing time. Woohoo! Well, at least it's all metal gears. Steel. I think it uh, will be fun to play with. Little drive belt. Little gear belt. Pretty nifty. Looks huge. I like how this looks <laughs> like a regular safety shield on a large lathe. That's pretty cool though. I get it finished put together. See how it works. I think this will be fun. Cool. Well, it runs. Pretty quiet now. <laughs> Everything's working smooth. I had to do a little shimming and adjusting, getting everything working right. Little plastic shim there. But it works. Little gear whining, but not too bad. be expected. Pretty cool. Tailstock works. Let's see if I can make something with it. Well, I get to try my first cut on the lathe. Yeah. Lovely camera. Lovely. Anyway, here's what I have. I got a washer that I need to cut down for a specific job. I got a uh, what is that, a right hand cutter? I don't know. Right or left. Anyway, it's uh, down in there. It's a carbide tip. So, I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm going to try this. Come on. Come on. Oh, well. It don't like it. Anyway, there's a carbide tip cutter. And there. Uh, kind of like that. Okay, only it's the other. It's the opposite. Now, all I got to do is take this diameter down to 0.9 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting, see how she does. Yeah, we're going to start out slow. Get in there and touch off. Speed it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
You hear that motor drop though, huh? But it's actually cutting. Took curlicue off. Cool. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with this. I'm going to cut it down. Show you the result. It well, it worked. The washer looks pretty straight to me. Better than that bolt I had. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, it's taking curly cues out. So you know, I guess it's doing what it's supposed to do. Might need to figure out how to push it a little better or work a little better, but it's functioning. I'm surprised but it's pretty cool pretty cool okay we're gonna look for some inaccuracy here see if we can get any kind of readings on here oh yeah about two thousands okay so we're one thousandths out, two thousandths total. I already spun this around, so I don't think it's this. I'm going to do another couple experiments before I do anything. But it looks like it's always hitting right here where I have my piece of reflective tape. Okay. So, right there. So I might end up having to uh, shim the back of this and uh, get that out of there. It's not too bad, though. Not too bad. I couldn't have built it that accurate. Okay, I think I found the problem. Let's uh, try this here. Let's see if I got this right. There we go. See it? There's the problem. So I just got to move the head down. Straight down. So there's some bolts back here holding this on. And I'll loosen them up. Hopefully drop it down a thousandths. And uh, get this thing fixed. Not a difficult problem. I think we could do this. Well, the most I could get out of it was about a thousandth. Not too bad. For what I do, <laughs> uh, that's good enough. That's good enough for now. If I need anything more accurate, I should buy something more accurate. I think I can work with that. 